I just got out of watching Terrifier 3. I miss the person I was before I watched this movie. Let's talk about it. This is the third film in the Terrifier franchise from director Damien Leone. And this franchise has become notorious for how gruesome, gory, horrifying, depraved, and just crazy that the scenes are in each of these films. These movies are not for the faint of heart, and there have been real reports of people um, fainting, puking, having panic attacks, and walking out of um, this new entry. But if you ask me, I think these people probably smoked or took an edible before the movie started, and they didn't realize what they were getting themselves into, or what movie their friend brought them to watch. Looking up to watching this movie throughout the day, I was feeling a little anxious, because I knew exactly what I was signing up for. I've seen the first two. Those two were pretty uh, out there and uh, gory. I'm not a big fan of gore. I like horror, but I'm not a big fan of gore. And I just had that feeling of like, when you're next to get on the roller coaster, just that anxious like fight or flight feel. Despite all of that, Art the Clown, the franchise's mascot, has um, become a beloved horror icon amongst the horror community and has gathered many a fans. Art the Clown is definitely gaining a lot of popularity amongst, you know, teenagers who like dare each other to watch his movies and, uh, and the horror community. I don't think he's quite there yet to be called a horror icon. Like some people are putting him next to icons like Michael and Jason and Freddy and I, I, he's not quite there yet. However, I understand why the horror community is really rallying behind these movies because the last time we got a really good horror slasher film was um, when Ghostface was introduced on screen back in the 90s. So needless to say, the horror community is like really hungry for a new icon. Like I said, Art is almost there. He has a, he has a pretty, he has a scary design. Um, his personality, it's, it's one second, it's funny. It can be charming, it can be sweet. It, he can be like a cute little silent mime clown. And then the next second he's mutilating someone's face. He doesn't speak like Michael or Jason, but he has a comedic personality just like Freddy or Chucky. An actor, David Thornton, does a great job portraying Art the Clown as this silent, mime-like, menacing clown. The only thing Art the Clown is missing to, to bring him to that next step of horror icon status is he, he has to have a big box office. He has to bring in the money. With these movies being extremely gory and intense and mean, I don't think that these movies can bring in the same type of numbers that movies, horror slashers in the 80s were bringing. Context, Friday the 13th Part 3 in 1980 um, brought in a total of 36 million and adjusted for today's uh, economy would be 130 million. Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, which was released in 1987, brought in 44 million, adjusted would be 125 million. And Halloween in 1978 brought in 70 million and adjusted for today would be 340 million dollars. The difference being is that yes those movies had bigger budgets to work with but they also were heavily censored to the point where they were accessible for the public to go watch you know they weren't I mean back then they were disgusting and and they wanted to ban them everywhere but you know it wasn't as horrible to watch as the Art the Clown movies, which if, if you haven't been keeping up with headlines, you know, these movies, um, they're being banned in certain countries. Um, in France, I believe, if you're under 18, you're banned from watching it. Even if, if, if an adult took you to go see it, they would not let you into the theater. So I think because, again, these films are so nasty and, and gory I don't think they can bring in those types of numbers it's a very limited you know audience that it, however with each entry in the Terrifier franchise Art the Clown's box office has been trending on the upward the second film's budget was about 250,000 which was raised through GoFundMe um, that a bunch of fans donated and the, the asking goal was only 500 no 50,000 and so they like what quadrupled the amount that they asked because fans were really supportive of the movie and the movie went on to make um, I believe it was uh, a little bit under 11 million which 
I don't know, is like 10 times, 20 times the budget. And the reason why Hollywood loves horror movies is because they're cheap to make and they make a lot of money for them. Damien Limon is actually a pretty normal guy for how crazy his movies are. Um, he's just a big movie nerd. And these movies are definitely his baby. He, I, he said in a couple interviews that um, he was doing a lot of the effects himself. He was right. He wrote the scripts himself. He was doing Art the Clown's makeup himself every day. He directed, obviously. So he has definitely invested so much time and effort into these movies. And these movies are not like cinematic art or anything, but you know, just you can tell he cares a lot. And and you know, there's something to admire about it that you know somebody is putting their blood, sweat, and tears into a project and. They're getting nothing but success in return. After the second film's success, he found a production company to work on this new third entry, and um, they gave him a $2 million budget. And you can definitely see all of that budget went into the effects, went into the costume. He hired makeup designers. I think Art's makeup looks a lot scarier and meaner in this new one. And um, yeah, you can tell he used every cent of that budget and put it into this movie. Overall, the story to each movie into the next one is pretty consistent. There, I mean, there's always more questions asked than there is questions answered to the last movie, but that's kind of what these movies lean into is the mystery of what the heck Art the Clown is. Is he a demonic being? Does, is, what, what, does he have superpowers like Michael Myers? Is he like just an entity like Pennywise? You know, we really kind of don't know exactly what he is, but that's kind of the, the the fun the fun of the mystery of what these films are. the The story really doesn't matter. You, you know, these movies uh, they know exactly what they are. They're not trying to win an Oscar. Um, they're just they're just yuck fests for the sickos, and you know they're just you know Halloween Halloween time movie you throw it on but it's not like a halloween time movie for like a group of friends i feel like if you were to put these movies on with a group of friends your friends would look at you like what the hell are we watching but overall i'll give um terrifier 3 a 6.5 out of 10 you know it again it's like not these aren't great movies but you know you know what you're getting when you go watch these you know just some gross halloween fun um it's intense it's scary it's gory um i never i never watched these movies more than once i've i when i saw the first one never watched it again i watched the second one never watch it again i watched this one i'm probably not going to watch it again these just aren't movies that you put on and you sit and you, and you enjoy these are pretty you know they're gross movies if, if you are into that and this is your type of movie that you like to watch good for you great that it's just you know i'm like a one and done with these movies um also real quick the actress who plays the final girl she played the final girl in um terrifier 2 and she plays the final girl in terrifier 3 um she is really kind of the glue of what keeps these movies together she she's a badass final girl you you root for her her acting is actually pretty good she's kind of like her and the actor who plays Arthur Clown are really like the only two good actors in these movies. But um, whereas I feel like Art the Clown, again, still has yet to be a, a real horror icon. The final girl, she is a badass final girl. She is one of the one of the coolest final girls that I, I love rooting for. I, she's definitely the one I'm rooting for. I'm not here for art, I'm here for her. So that's my review for Terrifier 3. Um, this this movie is probably not for you uh you know just go throw on hocus pocus and you know your 10th time watching halloween and you know don't if you know you can't handle gore don't go watch this movie but if you want to dare your friends to go watch it then you know go go try it out and see what you think but I can't say I recommend this. Just kidding. I dare you to go watch it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and repost, share, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one.